someone that I don't even think you can say keep your eye on anymore just has arrived is Megan the Stallion. Um, this is what her third album, uh, third project, I believe the f- first one and Tina Snow are mixtapes, technically. The gotcha. Fever, the new ones, it's Fever. her first one with any uh label support. Uh, this is on 300 Entertainment, but yeah, I think I think it's still a mixtape, technically, but either way, first like big official full push project. release from Megan the Stallion, yes. So the, the third project, Fever, um. I wasn't very familiar with her. I think I, I went back and listened to a couple of songs just to kind of get a sense of who she was. Um, and this album, or this project, I guess I'll call it. It is a forward. debut album. I just debut album. Yes. Gotcha. Uh, so th- this this debut album uh, really surprised me in terms of how quality it was start to finish. And she seems to have really just kind of put herself on the map with this. Um, what I think I liked most about it and I, I want to hear from you what, what you liked or didn't like um, was that she this was pretty simple record like the, the beats were like we're going from injury reserve to Megan the Stallion who the difference in beats and, and the way that they style their music it's is dark. totally different. Yeah, it's <laughs> very stark difference, but she that works to her favor because it just allows her to shine and the way that she flows over any beat and she just has such a clear voice throughout i thought was probably the most impressive thing and i found a lot of these songs pretty funny too just the way that mm. she like talks about things or some of the the um some of the hooks on these or the verses on these i thought were just hilarious so uh, megan the stallion were you as high in this album as i was oh yeah definitely this uh, blew me away and i was already a pretty big fan of tina snow i, th- I mean Big old freak was like her viral hit, uh, dance challenge, and uh, got, I think Solange twerked to it, and Rihanna followed her on IG afterwards from it. Like that was really what got like the ball rolling for her in earnest. But that too cocky off that, and even songs from her first tape, like I downloaded those too. Like she just had a lot of like really competent uh, raps right away, which it, which mm-hmm. always can put you in the map. And you know, reductively because she's a woman. She gets viewed differently, unfortunately, but and like uh, to the point where they like a fake Cardi B beef was created. That's how, you know, Megan the Stallion was a big deal when that happened. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, you know, I think it, again, to, not to compare her to women, but she reminds me a lot of city girls in the sense that very cocky, very feminist, but not afraid of uh, open sexuality and things like that. Mm-hmm. Trap beats confident rapid fire flows very similar sound but i actually like Megan stallion more just because i think this fever record in particular as you said just really is hits hard basically the whole time mm-hmm. and it didn't really grow stale for me it's only 30 minutes long a lot of tracks on there but i think she kind of really just honed in on what she can what, what she does best i mean right from the first song reeler i mean mm-hmm. my god it's just yep. fucking melt your speakers type shit <laughs> and i mean we were texting about it i mean pimp in uh, cash shit, Simon's. There's so many hits on this, yeah. and it's just really exciting because I mean, you once you look into her career more and you realize she's just wrapped up her uh, college degree. She's been in college this whole time, and like her mom is her manager, and her mom used to like you know rap back in the day, mm-hmm. and it sounds like she has a really good head on her soldiers, and also has a lot of industry support. So it's just really exciting because I think she's no doubt going to be a big star. Like right away, is she still um, able to be picked for the XXL double or double XL list? Uh, definitely, yeah. We, we I think I briefly mentioned her when we did our video like a month ago, mm-hmm. and again, this Fever record hadn't come out when they made the, that decision for this year. But given that Big Old Freak went pretty viral, and she really started, and she was doing a lot of freestyles at that time too. I was keeping her name out there. I would not be shocked at all if she got picked and frankly it would be coming at a great time for her and for xxl for that matter given her mm-hmm. rapidly rising fame so yeah i mean i would root for that just because she clearly you know ha- has it yeah absolutely you know there's a feature on here on cash Shit by the baby um someone else yeah. could be an xxl freshman i mm-hmm. thought he was fantastic and yeah. that that yeah. song you mentioned pippin uh weak ass bitch wab um all those songs really stood out as well as you said reeler just there's hit after hit on here and um you know we talk all the time about like 
artists be watching artists that are on the rise uh, she's positioned herself to be a mega star i think um if she can get some some good guest features between now and whenever her next album comes out and that's a hit i think we'll see her rise pretty quickly um really exciting to, to have someone like this coming in into the rap scene and just mm -hmm. female rappers right now in general are having a moment um a real yes. rise right now in that area but we'll probably do an end of the year breakout about that because i think there's especially if tr wax album is as good as we're hoping it will be sure. supposedly coming out soon i think we'll have a lot to talk about there